I'm Dan Ackerman, and we are here taking a look at the Logitech Touchpad T650. This is something you're seeing a little bit more of these days, a standalone touchpad that can connect to pretty much any Windows PC, especially useful with Windows 8 because Windows 8 is very touchscreen driven, uh, as in the case of a hybrid style tablet like this. Uh, but in this particular case, we don't have a touchpad or a pointing stick or anything, it doesn't come with a mouse. Uh, so you would want to pair something like, let's say, an external mouse or a touchpad to a product like this or you can set it up with a desktop or even a laptop if you dock your laptop to like an extra screen and you have an external keyboard. So you use this instead of a mouse so you have a more sort of seamless transition between your laptop and between using kind of the dock setup. Uh, the 650 connects via one of these little USB uh, RF adapters. It's not Bluetooth. Logitech says that this connection is actually faster and more responsive than Bluetooth. You know, I've used the Apple Magic Trackpad. That has Bluetooth. Uh, it certainly seems fine. Uh, I do appreciate the really big surface area here, and it uses uh, all the standard Windows 8 uh, gestures like swiping in from the side for the charms bar and there are a few of their own gestures in here that sort of approximate what you'd get on a MacBook but don't quite equal it uh, I'm especially a big fan of on a MacBook swiping up and down with three fingers to go into that expose view you still really can't do that uh, in Windows whether you have this touchpad or a different touchpad uh, but this is one of the only uh, really high quality glass topped standalone touchpads you can get it's about $80, uh, a little bit on the expensive side, especially uh, compared to just your run-of-the-mill wireless mouse. Uh, but I think a lot of people are moving in this direction, even if they're not laptop users. Uh, it certainly feels a lot more natural when you're navigating Windows 8 uh, than trying to do it with a mouse, which is just a real headache. I'm Dan Ackerman, and that is the Logitech Touchpad T650.